Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Ed Samina Field for the Nevada High Hornets game against Terra Linda. This is our 2023 senior day. We'd also like to welcome not only our athletic director, but our principal, Craig Mayor, and Vice Principal Jim Larson. Yep. At okay. this time, we would like okay. to ask the two graduating seniors from Terra Linda to step out. <laughs> Presenting the flowers to the two seniors from Terra Linda. First one to number 22, Leon Pacho Cervantes. Pacho is off to Diablo Community College next year, where he will be majoring in business. Next up, number 24, Miles Finn. Miles will be attending Oregon State University in the fall. Congratulations to both of these seniors. Hope that you have a great remaining part of the season. We would like to acknowledge and celebrate our graduating seniors. Baseball player for 2022. Our first player, number two, Hannes Gerber. Join joined by his parents, Jasmine and John. Hannes played first base on the varsity team for three years and one year on JV. Hannes has also played for four years on the varsity water polo team and was captain his senior year. Hannes will attend UC San Diego in the fall. Hannes' favorite baseball memory was a, his junior year when the team won a very close game against Tam High School. Honest has said that his freshman year at Novato was a very memorable year of growth and development. Coach Tom McQuarrie says that Honest has been the consummate teammate. Always a smile on his face and one of the hardest workers. Congratulations, Honest. Our second senior, number three. Evan Black, <laughs> joined by his parents, Don and Linda. Evan has played on the varsity team for four years as catcher and recently on the infield. Evan has also played football for the Hornets. He plans to head to college in the fall and major in business administration and hopefully play baseball. Evan's favorite baseball memory was hitting two home runs against Branson this year. The, the biggest impact on Evan's high school career was the amazing coaching staff who pushed the entire team to be the best that they can be. As a four-year varsity starter occupying one of the most challenging positions, Coach McCoy said that Evan's dedication to his sport has paid dividends for the Hornets this season as one of the best hitters in the league. Congratulations, Evan. Our third player, number six, Andy Gates. is joined by his parents, Scott and Chrissy, and a special shout out to his brother, Mike, who is wrapping up finals in Oregon I wish he could be here. And he had played shortstop of varsity for three years and one year on JV. And he has also played basketball and lacrosse for the Hornets. And he will be attending the W.P. Carey School of Business at Arizona State in the fall. And his favorite baseball memory is playing alongside his brother Mike for two years at Novato. The biggest impact on Andy's high school baseball career is the lifelong friendship he has made with his teammates. 
Coach Matori says that the Gates family has been in the Hornets baseball program for six seasons and is one of the smoothest infielders in our league with one of the most explosive bats. Andy's infectious smile and team attitude will be greatly missed. Our next player, number 11, Nicola Kapan. Joined by his sister, Daniela. This is Nicola's first year playing on the varsity team in the outfield. At this stage, Nicola is undecided on his college plans. His favorite memory this year was the walk-off against Samarin. Off the field, Nicola has enjoyed the post-game team, and you've got to see this at some point, bonding at Chipotle. <laughs> Coach McCoy said that Nicola came back to baseball for his senior year and became a welcome addition to the team. Congratulations, Nicola. Please congratulate number 12, Jacob Rabb, joined by his coach, Ben and Jody. Jacob has pitched and played in the outfield on the varsity team for three years and one on JV. Jacob has also played JV basketball for the Hornets. Jacob will be attending Loyola Marymount in Los Angeles in the fall and will study business and entrepreneurship, whatever. <laughs> if you can spell it, you can go to college. All right. And also, the plans to become a commercial pilot. Jacob's favorite baseball memory is when he robbed a home run against, sorry guys, Tara Linda in his sophomore year. The biggest impact on Jacob's career has been Coach Zero and also having Coach Detweiler come to the coaching staff at Nevada. Coach McCorry said of Jacob, when Jacob first arrived at Nevada as a freshman baseball player, we would tell that his strong arm would be an asset to our program. We were pleasantly surprised that he also brought with him a strong presence at the plate. Jacob always wants the ball on game day and has been one of the league's best pitchers this season. Congratulations, Jacob. Congratulate number 13, Nate Dito. Joined by his parents, Janelle and Matt. Nate has played in the outfield on the varsity for three years and one year on JV. Nate also played soccer on the JV team as a freshman and has studied product design for four years at Marin School of the Arts. Nate will be attending CSU San Marcos to study kinesiology. Nate's favorite memory is a walk-off against Redwood last year. Nate is thankful for the confidence that his coaches have instilled in him as a player. Coach McCoy says that Nathan has been a mainstay in the outfield and his clutch hitting this season has been a difference maker in several of our games. Congratulations, Nate. Now we got a photo op with just the parents and seniors. At this point, we would like all the other players to join them out on the mound. Actually, when he got the job here, the first thing he did is he came and he found me uh, to have a conversation and just figure out what was going on with the program. And um, at that point, I was 
you know, dealing with my own kids and wanted nothing to do with baseball for that moment. But uh, coming back a couple years ago, I, I'm truly honored with the just open arms acceptance of letting me come back. Um, and coaching with you has been some of the best coaching I've ever done. Uh, and I think you're a big reason for that. Uh, so I, I just want to thank you as a fellow coach and competitor because we competed, competed against each other too. Um, so it's his, it's Don's last year, but you're always welcome. Uh, former Novato High grad as well. Um, you know the door's always open, so hang out in the dugout whenever you want. Um, and Cranny probably doing the same and hanging him up this year, so we want to thank you for everything you've done as well. So thanks a lot. See you. Yeah, I wanted to uh, say a quick couple words about Don. Um, so my very first memory of high school baseball at San Rafael was with Don. He was my assistant coach. Um, and I, I played with him in uh, Joseph Don. And so, uh, you know, growing up, my dad was my only coach. And being able to play for you, um, I started to learn my, uh, I started to learn verbal signs, different kind of systems, started really learning baseball. I was only 14 years old. So There's a whole new world uh, <laughs> learning how to play at a higher level. Uh, but one of my best memories, one of my favorite things about Don is that you've been doing this for a long time. I, I, I'm just starting to get into with this. Um, and I just can't imagine the life you've been active in the kids that, that you can help. And uh, it's just your commitment to all these children. So I want to say from the player's perspective, from me, That's called an e-coach. E While they're getting set up, their last set of pictures, to each of you seniors and other ball players, we as parents, fans, family, whoever we are, want to thank you for the time that you have given to this program and providing us the pleasure and joy of watching you play. Thank you guys. Now, let's get to business and play some ball.